So many families that are looking to buy a home have the same question. How are the schools in this area? Well, today I'm going to talk about the schools in Duluth, Georgia. Let's do it. As a former school teacher, schools are near and dear to my heart. I taught high school chemistry for 11 years in Gwinnett County, so I am uniquely experienced as a realtor and a former teacher when it comes to talking about school systems and about different schools. When it comes to whether or not schools are good schools, that may differ from family to family and student to student. I know it's very popular to go onto one of the many websites on the internet that's out there to try to get an idea of what schools are good and their ratings. While that definitely can give you some guidance, it does not tell the entire story. Those ratings that are on different websites can be skewed based on what the website criteria is for a good school. And let's face it, it is hard to determine what a good school is because different areas have unique makeups and challenges. If a specific school has a lot of English language learners enrolled, then the overall scores for English proficiency or reading comprehension may be lower. This does not mean that these schools are bad schools or they have bad teachers. It means that they have a unique challenge that other schools in the area may not face. If you just want raw data based on scores and graduation rates, I highly recommend schoolgrades.georgia.gov. This is an official state of Georgia website that uses official data and surveys to provide the public with information. Now, once again, ratings for schools on this site are based on a point of view. To demonstrate what I mean by different websites, look at different aspects, let's look at three popular websites and how they grade Duluth High School. If we start with the website School Digger, it gives Duluth High School four out of five stars and rates it as the 80th best high school out of 438 high schools in Georgia. But if you jump over to greatschools.org, you will see that it only gives it a ranking out of five out of 10. However, then if you go to niche.com, the school gets an A rating. It also ranks it as the number one most diverse high school in all of Georgia, the number 12 standout high school, and the number 38 best college prep high school. How I take this is it depends on your situation and what you see as important to determine if a school is good. Let me break it down with my thoughts. All schools we talk about today have great diversity. It's why Duluth High School is one of the most diverse schools in all of Georgia. And that is a big plus for me. Another thing that stood out to me is that the math scores are above average for Gwinnett County and above the state average, but the literature and composition scores we're about equal to the state and below county score averages. I think this is more of a reflection of having a number of English language learners enrolled in these schools. Math being the universal language to me demonstrates that this school is serious about its education and the students and families that make up these schools are serious as well. I also noticed a large increase in accelerated classes that students have enrolled in, which I think will pay dividends in the college and career readiness scores along with graduation rates. The biggest thing I can say is that my house is located in Duluth High School District and I will be happy to send my kids to Duluth High School when they get old enough. On to middle schools. There are two middle schools that feed into Duluth High School and those are Duluth Middle School and Coleman Middle School. It's hard to compare these two middle schools. Why I say this is because Duluth Middle School is your normal, typical public school, while Coleman Middle School is Gwinnett's first certified STEAM school. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. A STEAM school uses science, math, and the arts in a more inquiry-based, hands-on learning environment. I love both STEM and STEAM school setups as I think it challenges students to learn in a way that is more like college and real world jobs than being in a bubble. So 
This is not a knock on Duluth Middle. I just think that the setup of Coleman has a leg up. And the academic achievements and ratings show that Coleman is a very good middle school. Now, there are four elementary schools that feed into these middle schools and high schools. They are Chesney Elementary, Harris Elementary, Chattahoochee Elementary, and Berkeley Lake Elementary. I think all of these elementary schools are very good schools. I saw in research that Chesney has 52% of its students' population being English language learners. I would suspect there is a huge emphasis at this school for learning English. Since that is the case, don't be surprised by the low English test scores. Another thing that stood out is the academic growth in these four schools. One is on average with all of Gwinnett, and that would be Chesney Elementary. And the other three are all above average for Gwinnett County and the state of Georgia. I think when I look at the overall view, I like what I see. I think at all of these schools, a child can get a great education. It is so important that we as parents support our teachers and school administrators when it comes to educating our children. One thing I would warn you about are the scores for 2019 and 2020, and maybe even 21, may be skewed. With the COVID outbreak and the impact on education, I think we will see a biggest impact when it comes to students who are economically disadvantaged. For these schools mentioned today, they provide education for a number of children that do fall into the economically disadvantaged category. If you're looking at test scores as a big indicator, please keep that in mind. If you have any questions about these schools, scores that you might notice when looking at different websites, or anything related, put them in the comment section below. I would love to answer them. If you liked this video, you may want to check out this video about Duluth, Georgia. I post videos like this one every Thursday about buying and selling homes, living in Duluth, Georgia in the metro Atlanta area, and home ownership. So hit that little bell, click on the subscription button. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.